What's up everybody, welcome to a new video. Um, before I get into it, I just want to say I was super happy with the reception that I got on the last video, so thank you guys for that. Um, Valve didn't seem to like it though, because the next day they pushed an update breaking pretty much everything in the hack. I did take that as an opportunity to rework the subtick emulation though, because that was long, long overdue anyway. Uh, when I first wrote the code for it, uh, CS2 was still in very early stages, so as Valve changed the game and the underlying subtick system, my code needed more and more fixes and by the end of it it was just being held together by strings and you could really notice it because it would just randomly break now if you're asking yourself what subtick emulation even does let me show you uh, if you look at this little visualization graph i cooked up for you um you can see how the game's internal subtick system works um you can see uh, the, the blue ones are angle subtick changes and then the orange ones are button presses you know when i go left and right and then the red ones are uh, subtick attacks. And the goal of the subtick emulation system is that the features of the hack try to mimic real input as closely as possible in order to be less suspicious to VAC Live and in turn get a better trust factor as well. Okay, here, let me quickly show you how a normal shot would look to the internal subtick system. You can see it's just two red lines, one being for button pressed and then one again for button release. And now, Let's do it with the trigger bot. You can see it's the same thing. Uh, it's mimicking how a real shot would look. Uh, and of course that extends to uh, movement uh, related parts of the hack like bunny hop or uh, auto stop as well. Because this change is pretty big and uh, a lot of features needed code changing, um, I wanna fix issues first. So it'll just be in the beta build for now. Um, also, uh, since I got messages after the last video, I'd like to make it clear that the beta build is available for everyone. If you, if you have a sub right now, you can just open your loader and inject the beta build. Alright, that's it for this update. Let me know what you want to see added next.